Welcome to another Harris Elmore and Genoa Libraries podcast with Ariel and Sierra and bonus guest, Miss Jennifer Folding. Hello, thank you for coming today. There's some fun stuff going on, um, but I will say just a few updates first. Because now that spring's upon us, we don't have to worry about shoveling anymore. Oh my God, yes. The snow should be gone. Hallelujah. But we're doing something different. So instead of, as Sierra would say, going down the rabbit trail, we're, we're, I'm going to try not to do that. Yeah, so we're yeah. going to reformat the podcast a little bit differently. So normally what we would do is talk about the programs first and then get into the meat of potatoes of the fun part of the podcast. So what we're changing is how we talk about the podcasts or the podcast, how we talk about the podcast. How about we talk about the programs in the podcast? That makes more sense. So we're not getting rid of any of it. However, we're going to have a separate, correct, uh, yes. programs that'll be on our YouTube page that you guys can listen to. And then when you come to the podcast, you'll get the meat and potatoes. So all the fun stuff. That way, mm -hmm. what you get to watch, you can pick around and look through. And we'll still talk about, of course, programs and conversation and what's going on, but it just won't be us reading verbatim what's going on every month. But it's good, change is good, spring is good. So it's good that we're updating it and having a separate video dedicated to nothing other than the programs. So that way you know what's going on, you can hear us talking about it, and it'll be awesome. So I'll be on YouTube again. And so you know our YouTube channel, Harris Elmore and Genoa Libraries YouTube channel. And you can go there. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. So we'll be on the podcast portions. We'll be playing games. We'll be having guest speakers. As you know, we try to learn new things. Ooh, maybe eat strange food fan yes. letters if you guys write us letters you know we've been asking for them so please 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 send us up we'd love to read that please send us letters i want to read fan letters i hope we yes. have fans out there honestly i hope I, so we, we say it like we have a lot of fans but like <laughs> i hope there's people out there that love listening and watching and want to send us letters are you ever going to have an open zoom where people can just i don't want to say like call in but they can at least hit the link and you can let them in and they can talk to you that way maybe oh, we'll that's do something idea. like that for when we do that that other thing we oh were yeah the other about. thing that i desperately want to do <laughs> yes we're gonna do it i wrote it down for i don't know what i wrote it down for july or something i don't know Ooh, summer yes so like there's it. there's some exciting stuff coming up ariel i don't know if you saw that on our um word doc there so oh you know, yes. what other thing we're talking about you can tease maybe it. I can tease it tease it is it on know. BBC one is where we kind of want to steal the idea from don't let your phone ring I'm trying <laughs> <laughs> hey we're a working library we have people calling in and needing mm -hmm. their help with things so yeah hey, I'm good <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so we want to steal the idea from BBC one where I wish we could play the jingle Oh. I wish I could. I love the jingle can't. so Oh, bad. I'm on your page. I recall what this is now. Yeah. Took so, me a second. Did you forget? <laughs> I did. I did. And I was like, Where, okay, I'm going to say it's unpopular it opinions. It's unpopular yes. opinions. Yes. So and if you don't know what people? that is, um, I would encourage you to just look up unpopular opinions on YouTube and watch a few of those because we want to do something very similar to that here on this podcast in, in the summer. Yes, so stick around. You don't want to miss it when we do it. We'll come up with our own jingle, although it won't be as good as his. What's his name? Is it Hey Craig? Now? <laughs> hey, maybe that's really... our, our next special guest can record for us. <laughs> oh my gosh. That would be would hilarious. He? I don't want to force him, but if he could sing for us, I would just die. I would love it so much. Maybe if we painted the picture, he'd be like, oh yeah, I could totally do that. And then it could be like, have you seen, there's a TikTok where it talks about Phil Collins. So on this TikTok, there's this guy pretending he's Phil Collins and it's like the Disney mm -hmm. uh, empire is like, hey, there's this movie about a guy, he lives with apes and gorillas, we need a song. And so it's all like Phil Collins, like just casually like doo -doo 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 on the, 
on his little piano and then he's like doo, 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 and just like jamming i think that'd be so fun oh, if he could do that great. no i no have not seen that but it sounds amazing <laughs> so yeah that's a, a little bit of another teaser is that we're really hoping to get our next guest uh, on the show um in another month or so and he's very musically talented um so that's exciting something to look forward to okay are y'all just sitting there <laughs> <laughs> they got we have to get on me. dramatic effect see if anybody Sorry. can guess the music the talented uh guest i know i could be a little more specific he's from elmore so that's great. A lot of people in town know him. So, hmm, I wonder who it could be. Uh, yeah. So, what are you guys looking forward to for spring? Uh, probably taking my tortoise outside. Oh yeah. Because yeah. since since I moved and it's been winter, she's been very depressed. Oh. So the sunshine and being outside would be great for her. Also. <laughs> my friend from Florida is like trying to convince me to come down and see them in May. Fun. But I'm like, you know, I got to talk to my boss because I can't take a week off work. And she's like, but I need you to be here for a week. Girl, go do it. It'll be so fun. <laughs> I don't know if I can take that much time off. Even you just can. getting away from that long from like Bermuda and stuff. If it makes you feel better, I could send you Snapchats. I mean, obviously, I don't live with you, but I'll send you Snapchats of work. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> send me Snapchats of work. Like, hey, you're not missing this. <laughs> you would have so much fun if you went. I know. I'd love to. And I told, her name's Connie. I told Connie that I'm like, I love tourist traps because I, I am, I'm just a tourist. Like I love buying all that cheap garbage you get from the gift shops and stuff. I love it. Um, so she's like, we'll go to a few traps in quotes. Um, and where does she live? She lives in Freeport. Yeah. So it's not that far down. Um, they're, it's Northern, but she said they're not far from the beach. I think they're like half an hour from a beach. Cause Ooh. I said, I really want to go to the beach. Um, and she said a dolphin tour. I'm like, what? I want to go to a dolphin tour? That sounds amazing. Yeah. My gosh. It's so, Are you gonna also it's so fun if you can touch them and stuff. Oh, it's great. I know that would be amazing. Oh my gosh, it'd be amazing. When we were there two years ago, just my dad, my sister, um, and me, we went to a manatee park. It was really oh. cold, so we didn't get in a canoe and go out on the water, but we could see them and like I, I really wanted to go out there because like you could have had that moment of like actually touching a manatee and that would have mm -hmm. been amazing so so they just let you like take this canoe out and just paddle around and like they just swim up to you yeah it's like they have fences around that are above the water so the manatees can come into like this what is that called like a recess I don't know if that's the right word that I'm looking for off of like a smaller ocean. body of water maybe yeah so like in one area you can like go down this river and then get on like the bigger part of the area and the manatees can just come in and out as they please so it's open oh that's cool that's that they have cool. and stuff i went to cancun once with ben and we did one of those uh kayaking things mm -hmm. and they the, everything could just come right up to you and i don't know why they let this happen because we've gotten <laughs> killed several times because there was legitimately alligators or crocodiles i'm not sure i can't tell the difference when they're in the water but they're very yeah. very close to you <laughs> oh god no see that's my dad's thought he's like if you get in the water you're gonna get eaten by an alligator and i'm like it was january i'm like i really doubt there's like a we didn't see any alligators while we were there um i'm like i really doubt if the, there's alligators just swimming around with the manatees or like the manatees wouldn't be smart enough to just not be in that area but I don't know. Oh, man well would they like actually attack you if you're like in your canoe i mean i, I wouldn't want to tip the canoe would i train them they're like no no you can't touch the canoes <laughs> <laughs> i feel like if they were just trying to play or something like um because we saw them we saw other people out there on like little kayaks or um what is i don't even know the name of it it's like a surfboard but it, you don't surf with it it's just a, it's like wider a like a wakeboard or a body something one. like that it's like really Paddle wide board? and 
is that a paddle board oh it's yeah, like you stand, you stand on a paddle. paddle yeah yeah um because you could take one of those too and we could see like the manatees underneath people as they were like out there on those I hope boards. you got good balance because those are difficult yeah <laughs> yeah I don't think I would trust myself with that I'd rather have a even canoe. canoeing's hard I've never been canoeing um you have to have a lot of trust in your partner let me tell you um <laughs> Fun if fact: you, if, if you can't control it very well, do not sit in the back because that's the person that steers and controls it. So sit in the front. Right. <laughs> that's exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> Michael and I went with his family and we went canoeing, and oh, they got so many laughs out of us. Oh, they no. like pushed us into the river, and they didn't take us on an easy river for like our first time. It was like immediate to hard, and like oh, we did gosh. it, but they shoved us in, and not even thirty seconds. He was like, "Whoa!" And we took the canoe. <laughs> It was, oh, no. <laughs> yeah, and you then like halfway sitting down, through, he wasn't even standing up. <laughs> yeah, we were both sitting down, and he's just like, oh my God. Oh. and then he's like, how do you fall out when you're sitting down? <laughs> I don't know. You guys are super talented. It wasn't me. I was like chill, and I'm like, all right, oh, we're here, and he just panicked, oh, and I'm like, oh my God, and then we tipped a second time in really deep water. Supposedly there's these leeches in this river that they told us afterwards. And I'm like, ew, oh, I could have had leeches on me. Gross. I didn't get any leeches on me. Have but... you ever had one on you? No, and I don't want to. It hurts a little. Uh, are you, is this you're saying you have? Yeah. <laughs> I've, I've watched people have you ever YouTube, been like purposely oh, no. put you or purposely get bit by We leeches. vacation in the UP a lot in Michigan and they get leeches they do they do <laughs> because we're um, always in the water it's super cold it's not um, quite so disgusting as like um Lake Erie but uh <laughs> I don't know if at I least just, you don't see what's there I guess if I knew there was oh, if I knew that's what I like about the mommy though. you know you just can't see what's gonna attack get to you. <laughs> no I hate that so much I don't like being in murky water Oh, it's horrible. I hate it too. No. We Even went, when we were, when okay. we used to have a jet ski, we would go on the Mommy River and I swear to God, every time Ben would try to like knock me off or something and I would come up to something dead every single time. Dead fish, dead animals. Mm -hmm. Gross. And you couldn't even tell <laughs> until you like bobbed right back up. Oh God. Mm -hmm. I hate that. Mm -hmm. Um when we were in Florida, Sydney and I decided to go in as far as we felt comfortable into the ocean because we've never been to the ocean. So she went all the way to like her shoulders and was standing in it. And I went to my waist and started panicking. I'm terrified of large bodies of water. That is like one of my greatest fears. So being waist deep and I couldn't see my feet, I was just losing my mind. So I had to go back because I was freaking out and I swear I saw those little tiny jellyfish. And I told her, I don't remember if she dunked her head or not, actually, but she stayed out there longer. And I'm like, I'm done. I saw something. I touched something. I can't see my toes. I'm, I'm done. No, I hate it. So if you were in like a, a clear, <laughs> if you're in a clear body of water, would that make you feel better? Yeah. Because in I, UP, there's like really clear like, lakes. Yeah. yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't panic if I could see what was there. But not being able to see it just it fills me with so much extra fear that I just don't enjoy. It was really cool. We went to Crystal Lake and you can see the sand, the little snails that are on the bottom. Plus, it's so crazy because like you see the sand and all of a sudden it just like drops and you can see the dropping point where we're like seaweed starting to grow because oh, it's created like the depths for the fish to swim in. Yeah. And then you can like snorkel and see the fish swimming through the seaweed it's so cool that would that would be better yeah <laughs> I would recommend that so yeah that sounds fun um well I think we went on a trail <laughs> yep yep we did I was gonna say what are you guys looking forward to in spring because I believe that's where that conversation started uh-huh um just warmer weather things. I I like to have my windows open a lot of the time I like the fresh air and I like yeah. the sun, so I'm excited to just be able to sit and feel the warmth on my skin. Yeah, so it gets so cold. Hang your laundry outside. I hate cold. I'm not sure why we live in Ohio. I, <laughs> I think, honestly, Ohio really isn't so bad compared to other places. Like, Florida can be, I find, way too hot. Oh, no, um, don't ever say this. That's that's crazy. <laughs> I love um, Well, I get really bad bloody noses, as you guys know, because... Mm -hmm. 
if the air gets too dry, it just doesn't help my nasal passages. What's really but, dry here? But New York is so cold in the winter. Yeah. And a lot of snow. So we're kind of like, we get the best of both worlds, I think. I could do without the winter portion. Well, I always thought, like, growing up that Ohio was just one of the most boring states because it's so it's super flat you don't have mountains mm. unless you head south like we just don't have a lot here I feel I'd like. agree with but that at the same time it's just this is where I grew up I've never lived somewhere else um and like this is where my family is so it's it's a very like safe state in my mind we have what one dangerous spider one dangerous snake and you're really hard pressed to even find those unless you're literally out tromping around in the woods somewhere. Um, so I feel like it's a very relatively safe state. We don't have tornadoes except for that freak one that like went through. We have more so than many years ago. Apparently. You're just not living in the right place. Over by me, we have tornadoes all the time. Well, yeah, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. That one freak tornado that was well, around your house like ten years several. ago. Since then, we've had just like smaller ones. Uh, yeah, we had a tornado. Way. In but, you know, we don't live in Kansas. <laughs> no, I guess it happens. The bad, no, we, we are not Tornado Alley. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. It's for, for not having as, you know, as much as other states. And I guess that's true. It's still just, feel, we don't have bears. But we do have corn. Well, Children of the bear. corn. Has anybody seen that? No. <laughs> it's a scary. I don't recommend. <laughs> you say we have children in our cornfields. Well, it's the movie's Spooky called Kai. Children of the Corn, so it's a it's a like a horror film where like children come out of the corn. If stocks. you see children come out of your corn, you do not want to go. <laughs> no, <laughs> do I do. Don't, don't, um, don't I, make eye contact. Yeah, so my parents' house, there's a road in front of the house, and then we're surrounded on three sides by corn. So you're in trouble. <laughs> I, I like it when it's about halfway. And then when it's all the way, it blocks, we, we're very close to the turnpike, so it blocks the turnpike noise and everything, and it blocks the neighbors across the field. It's just like we're very secluded, but then towards like the end of harvest, you can't wait for them to take it down because it's almost suffocating to be surrounded. It's like you're trapped in this cornfield. For sure. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if I want that. You do get <laughs> used to it, but then yeah, it, it's suffocating by like the end of the year. Ugh. they get so tall mm -hmm. depending on what type of corn if it's like feeding corn it gets pretty tall but if it's sweet corn it's not as tall it's feeding corn mm. yeah. that makes sense yeah what about I mean, you there's different types of corn. i'm so unschooled <laughs> <laughs> yeah jen what are you looking forward to in the spring what'd you say what are you looking forward to in the spring gosh just uh, the warmth long <laughs> days <laughs> Yeah, oh, that's a Getting good one. Getting closer to my pool. <laughs> Getting closer to your pool. Spring That'd break. Be fun. It's nice. Well, I always look forward to um, Aiden's spring break because uh, we can usually take off and go do something. So maybe, maybe this year we can do something. I'm not sure. Probably don't not. Go away. Don't go away in May because I might be going to Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll need May's to be covered clear. at work for a while, so. I think May is clear. Oh, okay. I might go, like, in uh, June or July and see Ben's sister in North Carolina, but. Oh, yeah. It all depends. It does. Weedy whack. So you've been to North Carolina. Did you ever try Bojangles? Yeah, I've been to Bojangles. <laughs> have you? Have you? No. You know? no. I it's, was like in... a, it's like a Popeye's. I was in the North Carolina airport and they had one, but our gate was on the opposite side of the airport. Oof, so we had tough. to run to our gate and so we didn't get Bojangles and I'm oh, still salty. That's, <laughs> ah, that's sad. I've heard it's really good. Just don't get grits ever for any reason. Really? <laughs> I like grits. Are you kidding? Well, you must put something on it. What do you put on them? Um, well, um, usually I only eat it when my mom makes it because she makes it pretty, pretty fine grits. Well, there's like butter and there's sugar in it. And I think there's milk that goes into grits. And then you cook it over the stovetop and you just mix it. So you like a sweet one, not a savory one? Um, I don't know if we've ever 
I probably wouldn't have liked it if it wasn't sweet because I haven't had it in a long time. I've never had grits. If you have grits plain, it's just gross. Um, yeah, if you I could totally it, agree with that. I could agree with that. I could do a whole That's podcast just on Southern cooking. My my mom <laughs> is from Tennessee, so we have they have a lot of weird things. Mm. But they're very tasty. We should do that. That's a good idea for a podcast because yeah, like, it's, so di- it's such a different world of cuisine. <laughs> yeah, very. It's comfort food. That sounds fun. Um. No, my mom's never made grits. We don't eat grits. Grits just sounds like gritty mashed potatoes to me. I mean, honestly, what it is. Yeah, yeah. I was just gonna it's say, like what oats. is grits? <laughs> I know what, what is can what grits? is grits? What is the what main is ingredient? I don't. I don't know. Let's see. I was like, hey of... Google, what is yeah. grits? Um, <laughs> it is a coarsely ground corn kettles. Corn kernels boiled with water or milk so it's just corn kernels it's ground up corn yeah it's not yep. great <laughs> that's not human food no that's for your animals yeah that's animal food yeah oh oh it's good for your colon i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> next thing you know we'll do the things that it blows you out <laughs> mm. we'll have to I do just, a web md uh, podcast that'd be funny yeah so that more than too. what anybody thought we were going to talk about today yeah this is what you said web MD. <laughs> how I did. how um likely do you think it would be for us to be able to get dr mike to come on to our podcast and talk i about wish him? i love him i know <laughs> i watch him all the time <laughs> is that dr mike polk i don't no, know i think saying. I don't know his name. Dr. Mike Hotness. <laughs> I don't um, know who that is off of that description. He he always um like does uh reviews of like medical shows and stuff like that. And no, uh, you like, watched he, the video. Jen sent us a video of them doing the whisper challenge. challenge. They did the whisper challenge. Oh, I do remember that video. Okay, I have yeah. a visual now. Okay, I'm on the page. So yeah, what a likelihood of. of getting him on our podcast and talking the worst he could say is no that's true i'm gonna ask him go for it i will keep us get it yeah i'll I'll keep you posted i'm gonna do it (laughs) (laughs) so then i'll have to have with some kind of medical based thing Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i think that'd be a good thing for people though the amount if you you can get them super quick you can do your mental health day that'd be so great okay i'll email him today when when we're done with recording our podcast i'll get on there i know that's not his specialty but no but he hey, can you him. can't get it for that if he would ever do it you can he's so like... insightful about so many different things and just the way like he's learned so much over the years that like the way he explains things like really does make you think you're like oh i didn't even know that or like that's a really good thing to know and um my family kind of riffs on me because they're like oh he's cringy i'm like i love watching his videos maybe a little but not really (laughs) Mm, (laughs) that's funny Uh, so yeah so so what are you guys reading are you guys reading or watching anything uh so i did post a picture the other day that um i was finally able to finish reading iron gold and that Ooh. excited me because it's been like six months. That's um, such a such a fantastic series. It is. It is so good. I highly recommend uh, you read Pierce Brown out there, listeners. If you haven't read him before, I highly recommend it. Like the Red Rising series. That's the first book. Yes. So good. Yes. But it's sci-fi. Way to stick with it. So it is. It is sci-fi. Um, so you kind of have to be into that sort of thing, but not. I wouldn't say not necessarily. I mean, it's it's so good on so many different levels um, that you don't have to love sci-fi to love these books. That's true. So. Have you heard the status of the, um, the TV series we're supposed to make out of it? No, it's Netflix, right? Netflix it? I don't know. It? I thought so. I've not seen anything. I haven't seen anything. I'm stoked, though. I mean, I talked to um, our one patron, Adam, about it a while back. 
and I think we both said that we thought it was Netflix, but haven't heard anything. Netflix did get a hold of another series, though. They're doing um, Leigh Bardugo's King of Scar series. Are they? Yes. If you didn't know that, you should go watch the trailer. It looks I amazing. I didn't see this. No. Yeah. I'm going to ooh and ah like I know ooh. what it is. <laughs> That's another fantastic really series. That. That young adult stuff. <laughs> I haven't read that I'm one glad, yet. But... I'm happy you are having this experience. <laughs> My sister's read it and she said it's just amazing. And I need to read them before I watch the show, but it does look really good. Um, Disclaimer, you should read everything before you watch the movies. Just saying. That is true. <laughs> so and very that, true. We do want to do something like that once on the podcast and talk about like movie to book. Um I don't even know what the word is for that. I could give you some beef on a movie to book. So recently, my staff pick, I read Practical Magic by Alice Hoffman, and mm-hmm. I was so jazzed about it, which it was still a good book. Like, it really made you think about the Owen sisters, because she wrote it in 95, and then they came out with a movie in 98 about it, and that's the only thing I had, like, seen was the movie. Mm-hmm. So, of course, there's, like, witches, and there's, like, demonic spirits, um, because this girl's getting abused. And so then she ends up like accidentally killing him in self-defense. And so like they kind of just hide this body and it goes about the story and like how he kind of comes back in their garden. And so like all these other witches have to like show up to help them. And I was like, oh my gosh, this book's going to have so many other details I missed. Okay, none of that happens in this book. Yeah. And I was like, what? It, the origin was all about like love and what it means to be loved and like what people do for love or what they consider to be love, even though it's not mm-hmm. what they need, but it's what they want. And I was like, what? And the kicker, there is no man with one green eye or one blue eye. And I was so disappointed in that <laughs> because the whole movie is her saying like, oh, I'm going to fall. I, cause the Owens women are basically cursed. And so they can't fall in love or else they have to face these consequences. And so she's like, I'm going to fall in love with a guy with one blue eye and one green eye, because that's like impossible. And then none of that's in the book. And I'm like, what? And then it goes into even more detail about her daughters and stuff, which I was like, see, I hate watching a movie first and then reading the book. I didn't know it was a book. Then sometimes, I, sometimes mm-hmm. it's beneficial to do that. I do that quite more often than I care to admit. But sometimes if you don't do it that way, then you'll be disappointed with the movie. Like if you read the book first, yes. you know, I do recommend you read books first before you watch the movie. But sometimes if you do read it first and then you watch the movie, you're just really disappointed in the movie because you're like, you didn't do yes. this. I didn't do this. Mm-hmm. What was it, this there? But when my you brother movie, before you read the book you're just like that was awesome yay and then you read the book and you're like <sighs> yes so yeah. my brother's the better. same way he suggests that I watch the movie first and then read the book because then he's like you can appreciate both because I read well I've read most of the things that were like turned into movies that we've watched um so I sit there and nitpick it then and he's like then you don't enjoy the movie as much you should do it backwards um and recently he and I went to see Chaos Walking in the theaters. It was our first theater trip since, you know, last March when they shut everything down. Um, So it was a very good movie. And it didn't occur to me until the credits started rolling that it was based on a book. (gasps) I I did not know that. And it's the book called The Knife of Never Letting Go. Oh, it's a Chaos Walking trilogy. Is that Patrick Ness? Yes, it is. Okay. And I, I, it's like, it almost makes me mad at myself for one, not knowing it. I work at a library. And two, that now I've watched the movie and I haven't read the book. So immediately I ordered it so I could read it because I'm like, I have to know what's different. I have to. (laughs) Did you read it yet? Or are you still waiting for it? I no, it's, it's at home. I have it, but I haven't read it yet. So I'm either going to start that one or the Maze Runner next, because I mean, we were having a conversation earlier about the Maze Runner. I've heard good things about that trilogy, so I think you'll like it. Abigail was telling me she said it's really good to listen to as an audiobook. I'm probably just going to straight read it, but um, yeah. It'll be good. 
so many differences. It I know is. I'm reading the second book to the practical magic and it goes from, I don't know why she wrote it this way, but she wrote it in like backwards. So it starts oh. in like present and then the book she's continued to write. Apparently there's a fourth one coming out at the end of this year and she's writing backwards. So you okay. have the nieces and then the second book I'm reading is about the aunts and them growing up and their brother and like things that you see how they came to be how they are mm -hmm. in the first book and so then it keeps progressing backwards as to the original owens that was a witch so it's interesting i recommend oh, fun yeah yeah so it explains a lot more i can only think of two books that i've read and then watched the movie and felt like they did it complete justice um where the movie was very very similar to the book or that I saw where they made changes in the movie that didn't bother me and it made more sense. Um, and that was Holes and oh. Hoot. Those were the two movies that were based on books that I felt like they were good movies still. Even I do like Holes a lot. My book group, um, ironically, we're reading it for March for our meetup. And I hope they like the book. I love the book and I love the it's movie. It's such a so. good book, it is. Mm -hmm. I think one that was really close for me it was a tv series though was the outlander series they follow oh. that pretty well that's it's, good it's, it only took them like maybe five seasons before they started to veer off a little bit and like mesh other books together right but it was pretty spot on i was um, impressed i'll ask since i know you actually read these books too how did pole dark do because i've only watched the show i didn't read the books not very not very close not close no i mean there's parts in it that you know, did happen, but they really take parts of a lot of different books and put them in the episodes. Right. You know, because I, I guess some more was going on then because it's a little slow in parts. Right. I don't know if I would say I prefer it, but I do really like it when a book series gets a TV show mm -hmm. because There's then they, they can lately. get more detailed with it and it's not just a, you know, two-hour movie and then it's over for an entire series of books that took you months to read you it keeps going i wonder how that bridgington cares i've not read any of the um julia quinn i have not mm -hmm. either and some of the books are not in like a print publishing you know, they're a lot older those books so mm -hmm. I've heard like mixed feelings about the show anyways. People are like, oh, I love it. And then there's other group of people who are like, what is this? I've never heard of it. Why does everybody love it? And they're yeah. mad about it. <laughs> I've heard about it and like heard what people say, but I'm not sure I really want to watch it. You guys not watching like, it? Oh. I'm, I'm not currently watching it. I'm not currently watching much of anything. I'm watching reruns of shows that I've already seen. <laughs> I love it. I'm watching Friends. I'm watching Psych. I, I have so, missing out. There's so many good things. So many out. new things I need to watch. That there are. I'm there are. Off. I've been watching. Um, you guys know I went on like a Hell's Kitchen kick yeah. during uh, the quarantine. Mm -hmm. Well, Gordon Ramsay, Mr. Ramsay, that's my bad accent, um, <laughs> is coming out with a new Hell's Kitchen. So I've been watching that religiously oh. every week. Aiden He's a 19. Loves Aiden loves that show. I do. Home. He'd sit there in the kitchen. He'd be like, you're a potato. <laughs> <laughs> and there's going to be, if I ever were to go to Lake Tahoe, he's opening a restaurant there. And that's like the closest restaurant that I would have access to. Wow. And I think it'd be so fun. I would love to go to his restaurant and try a beef wellington. Beef welly. You know, I just go there and, and tell you what an awful person you are. <laughs> I gosh, I hope not. Would. Just for me, you. I would be okay um, with it, honestly. I'd be like, there we have one of those in, in, in Vegas at with like, Dick's Last Resort. <laughs> yeah, but mm. it would have to be Gordon Ramsay because if it's somebody I don't know, it's not worth it. <laughs> I don't watch any of his stuff, but I do like love the memes of him that I see online. It's so good. And he's so good with kids, but the adults, he just rips them a new oh, one. Yeah. I have seen him with kids and it's surprising. Like, oh my God, mm -hmm. you're such a nice person inside. Why well, he can be a nice like person. I don't know how much of that he puts on for it, but. <laughs> yeah. I would lot, love to hang out with him weird. just in real life. Even as an act, it's terrifying. I would <laughs> never want to be yelled at like that. Like I would cry. He makes people cry. He does. 
Yeah, he terrifies me. He's very intimidating. I think he means well to push you to be a better version of yourself. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Uh, good stuff. <laughs> good times. Good times. So do we want to get to the meat and the potatoes? Uh, yeah, you I promised like meat so and potatoes starving. to the people, so <laughs> don't say you're starving. I'm, I'm hungry, too. Um, <laughs> I cooked breakfast this morning. Oh, so I did good so today. So I had a bagel. Wasn't enough. Oh, um, you could have came over. I had eggs with onions and kielbasa. Oh, like kielbasa, like real kielbasa, not like you know non Stanley's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my Polish that's, roots. <laughs> that's the only real kielbasa. Uh, uh -huh. Ooh, I sorry, would like to sorry. give you my cup of coffee. It would just make me go to sleep. Would it help me? Yeah, I don't the know. Daylight savings, they killed me. I don't know what kind of energy I could really like drink or take to actually maybe an what about tea. what about energy tea where it's like uh helps you naturally get energy I don't know maybe yeah, <laughs> it's kind of just I think it's I have caffeine, caffeine. if it's I good. if I drink caffeine it makes me super tired yeah you're a weirdo I know <laughs> I know that's why I said orange juice I should have orange juice next week does orange juice help it's an energy boost, right? It gives right? me a firm. Oh, I don't know. Orange juice, it makes me happy. I think that's where that my energy comes from because it's orange like juice some vitamin C. It's not real orange juice. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> sugar water, orange sugar water. Mm. My sugar water. I want my sugar water this morning. Uh... As we we're saying, the meat and potatoes comes in the form of a game. <laughs> so, <laughs> April 10th is National Siblings Day. Yep. So, we wanted to play kind of a game that was kind of sibling related in a way. We've talked about this before where Ariel and I are confused a lot by our patrons and they think one of us is the other person. Um, I, I also believe that Jen looks like both of us and we look like her. We're all very similar. The brown <laughs> hair and the... Like, like, totally. You guys could be related. You guys should be playing this game, but I will gladly play this game. I love games. <laughs> yeah, See, so... I think it's the glasses. The glasses really lock the it down, The glasses do so well. Let's see your glasses. I don't glasses. wear them anymore because of the mask. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. Hard. She also has glasses Wait, that self. she doesn't wear. Mm -hmm. If... Yeah. patrons a lot of patrons much. or people oh listening um now do i look like you guys yeah yeah absolutely glasses make it i think it makes our look there you go the brown hair glasses yeah. i will play or some glasses skin. On. play with I your glasses see. on um so that we all look alike but yes those of you who know who probably know me personally or possibly know my siblings a lot of you listening probably don't um i think that Ariel and Jen look more like me than my two siblings, my two sisters look like me. Or what? I think I'm just Dormy I'm kind of looks like you. I we still occasionally get mistaken for twins, but she's shorter than me. She has curly hair. Her hair used to be blonde. Um, so her hair is lighter brown and it's super curly. Her glasses are totally different than mine. And she can totally rock all of her makeup. I, I am wearing makeup today, so this doesn't count. But I'm usually just so <laughs> plain that I'm like, how can you mistake us? Like, she looks so much different than me. And she's so I've prettier. had that happen to my sister and I, too. They're like, oh, you're twins. And I'm like, no. Yeah. Like, not whatsoever. We don't see it at all. But some people are like, oh, yeah, you guys could totally pass for twins. And I'm like, what? I think the beginning problem used to be um, Stormy and I were only two years apart. So it was just very easy for my mom to dress us the exact same all the time. <laughs> so we we often had matching dresses or matching socks oh, or fun. whatever it was. Like we always wore matching something. Guys, or it would be dress up for Nathan to put on and and uh, for this. Mm, oh, I don't know about that. I'll try. I have a cute one because my sister and I always for Halloween would like go as matching. 
So mm-hmm. like one year I was Peter Pan and my mom had made me like an outfit and I had a little pouch that had fairy dust in it. Yeah. And so she was like supposed to be, I think she was supposed to be Tinkerbell or something. I just remember seeing the picture of me like over her car seat being like, ooh, Halloween. And then one year yeah. she was a mouse and I was the cat. Gosh, you nice. guys have the best outfits. See, <laughs> my like mom. My goal in life Shout out to my to mom. somebody that will like pair up Halloween outfits with me. That's like done, mm. done. I'm so there. I want to do that so badly every year. <laughs> my mom was the one that really was the one that made our outfits though. Cause like dad, I don't know what he would have done. Mom you know, all the way. Fresh. <laughs> we we yeah, never mom. celebrated. We never did Halloween, but for like work, I love coming in here dressed up for. I think it's just you and me that just. I love up. dressing up for work. So. <laughs> Um, I'm so stoked because May 4th is coming and it's coming in the form of me dressed like the Mandalorian and I'm oh, so nice. excited. Nice. Did you make something? Yeah. I have to finish a few details on it. I don't have like all of my chest armor like put together yet. Oh man. But That's I'm super awesome. close. I bought a legit Mando helmet. And I'll be your baby Yoda. <laughs> do it dress like yeah. grogu how could i i don't even know <laughs> oh my gosh it'd be could, hilarious um, we did pretty well for halloween yeah. last year we did good we had a miss frizzle we had like an 80s rocker i was paul bunyan like i made a little play-doh oh, man that's right. you were for a babe my mom helped me with that yeah. i did i bought a crocheted beard that was fantastic <laughs> i had the hat and everything you we should just wear that sometimes just because <laughs> Sure. Honestly, I thought about wearing it for winter, but then I'm like, people are going to stare at me. <laughs> um, no, I'm very basic when it comes to Halloween at the library because I don't celebrate. So like the one year, I'm like, I'm going to wear sunglasses all night. So I did. And then none of the patrons got it. And they're like, are you aware that you're wearing sunglasses inside? And I'm like, I'm I wear, wear my, my sunglasses, sunglasses at, night. at night so no one can see. Come on, that's a bop. <laughs> I know. I know. It. I love uh, that song. Nobody what we need it. is Nathan just... to like put our shades on us right now yeah. and be like, I wear my sunglasses at night. I know that because my dad and can't play that, but yes. Maybe just the glasses. We'll do the <laughs> audio. My dad wears sunglasses a lot. And I'm like, dad, the sun's not even out. I like to wear my sunglasses on my head because then it pulls my hair back. <laughs> and I think it yeah, looks super great. cute. But then I do that. I come into work like that. And people are like, you left your sunglasses on. I'm like, no, I'm using it as a headband. I That's right. That. It's an aesthetic, okay? Yes, it makes me look pretty. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Mm. Yeah, I guess we, Anyways, we, need, to we the... need to coordinate an outfit for this year. Yeah. Um, uh, what can we Many do? Choices. I have, ooh, you know what would be fun? I have a outfit where I'm Velma from Scooby-Doo, and you oh. all should be like the- I knew you were going to bring that up. Like, it's got to be the Velma outfit. Oh my, I would love that. I thought that. I went and saw them at, I forget, was it Universal? And like the whole gang was there and like I was with Velma and we were like looking for clues. It was so fun. I already have it. So I did. So I I get her, but y'all can be someone else. (laughs) Maybe I could dye my hair red. I'll be Daphne. Because there's really only two chicks, two dudes, and then Shaggy. Yeah. Well, I guess I can be be one of the guys. I can totally. But you have the Velma. Could you be Fred? I want you to wear an (laughs) outfit. But <laughs> you want her to wear an ascot? I do. I want to wear an ascot. I think you could I can totally be pull it off. I do this. I'd love it. Uh, That'd be I so could build fun. you a trap. So many traps. <laughs> many traps. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, oh my gosh, that is so great. Okay, so funny. I hate laughing. I cry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's so, too funny. yeah. So that's what siblings do, but we're <laughs> curious uh, how well you guys actually know each other, sibling-wise, in quotations. Y'all aren't actual siblings, but we spend a lot of time together. We do, work, a lot. Outside of work. Um, so we're going to play a game that is very similar to the Newlyweds game, um, but kind of like a friend's edition or a sibling's edition. So I will be the host. Uh, Jen and Ariel will be the contestants. I will go back and forth 
um, asking each one a question about the other person. Um, each uh, correct answer is worth one point. I will be keeping score on my paper here. I should pull my papers apart. That'll make it easier for me. Um, it's if we tie. Um, that, that means we're both winners. Yeah. Ooh, everybody Maybe. wins. But it's so positive. At the at the very <laughs> end of um, at the very end of the game, I have a bonus question that will presented to both of you simultaneously. And Ooh. did I say that word right? Simultaneously. It is. That mm -hmm. is correct. Okay. Uh, if you both get that one correct, it is worth five points. So if Ooh. only yes, if only one of you gets it correct, um, that's five points ahead, and you will be the winner. Um, dun, dun, dun. Yes. So for those of you watching, um, Jen and Ariel both have whiteboards in front of them. Um, as I ask a question about the other person, they, uh, so if I ask Ariel a question, Jen is going to write down her answer um, and wait for Ariel to guess something. And then Ariel will say what it, what her guess is and Jen will show us what the actual answer is, if it's correct or not. And then she'll also okay. tell you to so the listeners um, listening can. You okay? I'm There's sorry. a lot of pressure. I keep jamming. I got the radio on. Nobody can hear. I want to jam. The music's in me. I need some music. Whitney, you still done. It would distract oh, me. Love if her. There was, if there was music next to me, it would distract me because I would just start singing along. Mm -hmm. She needs someone to love her. That's what she's saying right now. Oh, is that the? No, 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 no. no that's that's Tina Turner. <laughs> no, <laughs> when the night calls, I want I want yeah. to dance with somebody. Oh, yeah, that's what's on, but that's not what you're doing. <laughs> oh, got you, got you, Whitney. <laughs> All right, I, I hope I explained that well enough. Um, let me write down your guys' names so I keep score. Okay, Ben here, Ariel down here, and. I will begin by asking questions. So starting with Jen, I'll be asking you a question about Ariel. What is Ariel's favorite food? Oof. Yeah, oof. You may write down your answer. I should have a timer so I could like, hmm. I need one of those like little sand timers or something. Um, You've told me this before. <laughs> I think I think I have. You dessert. Can I just put that? <laughs> I know. That's why I was like, ooh, it's but food I don't consider it to be a dessert. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I think of food just like regular food. I mean, I guess. I know you know my favorite dessert though. Oh wait. I don't know what this is called, but hold on. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what it's called. I wonder, I think I might know what you're gonna write down. So are you going to write it? <laughs> no, I don't think so. I wonder if I should go steal a timer just so I can keep track of you guys. I can do it. Okay. Are you, are you, you have your ready? answer? Yeah. Oh, All right. Oh, so man. that is not your favorite <laughs> food. Well, Ariel gets to present Lies. the actual answer before Jen. Um, Listen, I'm going to tell you what you like. Okay. <laughs> so Ariel, what is, what is the correct it. answer? I had put pizza because i eat way too much pizza for the yeah, average you do, adult you do love pizza I put, and jen what was your guess i put cheesecake as your favorite dessert and michael's oh, spicy chicken oh you're right oh, oh you're right. i don't know what it's called what's it called it's chicken gravy oh chicken gravy yes oh, oh but you're right i love that oh that gosh. is my favorite i, I love that i'm gonna tell you what you like and that's how it's gonna be <laughs> all right i'll no. tell michael be like i didn't even get it but jen got it <laughs> No points for you, Jen, because oh, sorry, she said Jen. you wrote was, down pizza. That was a really good answer, though. Uh, I should have wrote that down. <laughs> mm, that would have been great. Okay, uh, Ariel, <clears throat> what is Jen's favorite TV show? This is so hard because she watches <laughs> no. this is so hard. I have so many. You, yeah, okay. But I'm not even sure I told you any of them. Nope, I don't think so. <laughs> All right, um, hmm. Okay. I feel like there's got to be a thing where you just have a fallback show that oh. you just always go back to because it's so classic or you love it. 
um, there's there's something out there like that. I've told the fans a million times what my favorite show is. I don't have to say it again. You all know what it is out there. I think I spelled this right. I don't. I don't think this is right, Jen. I'm so there's sorry. So, there's so many, but um, okay. I have an answer. I'm not confident one, in it though. I do enjoy this one a lot. All right. Big Bang Theory. Ah. Big Bang Theory. And yeah. Ariel put bad omen. <laughs> That is incorrect. The only I I did watch that uh, show, and I watched it because uh, I like Jack Whitehall, and he's in it, and he's a really weird person in it. (laughs) I remember us talking about it. I'm like, but I don't think this is your favorite. Also, my question is interesting, and I think uh, Tenet was in it. No, yes, he was. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If anything, I would watch it for him. But uh, I I like them both. It's just as a I don't know as a show. Mm. Oh, wow. that goes. Still, still, good good still no points. All right. So, Jen, what is Ariel's half a point <laughs> for for the Michael's dish? Yes. For that one? <laughs> I would I would agree. All right. I'll give Jen half a point. This half point up here. All right. Well, this goes back to you. What is Ariel's favorite movie? Um, hmm. I love it. This isn't really a test of how well do you know the other person because when it's the three of us in a room, even when it's just two of us, we just talk and talk and talk and digress and it goes crazy. And yeah, it's really hard to nail down the one thing one of us said was our favorite of anything. I'm pretty sure Honestly. this is that, but it makes me amused. So, well, Ariel gets to give her answer first. <laughs> Ariel, what is your favorite movie? Okay, well. There's two that really tie. I did one that makes me like kind of happy and I just enjoy watching it for what it is. And then um, one that when I'm sad, I go to because it makes me feel better. Nice. Okay. You that's Narnia, Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe, but that's too long to write. Okay. And the second one is Holes. Yeah. Very good movies, both classics. Oh, oh Mermaid! <laughs> yeah sorry honestly well, i knew I it wasn't because i had no idea i also <laughs> yeah. had no idea what your favorite movies were and it was not I mean, I mean it's just it's something that i really watch like that because it's so many things you can't just pick like one it's like you can't do book your movie your tv show okay literally my favorite uh-huh. tv show is psych my favorite movies are the man from uncle with henry cavill and the secret life of walter mitty okay i'm so and, wow happy my that favorite you're book in your life my favorite book is the phantom of the apple I can do favorite book. Well, I do. I do know a favorite book as well. I hope that's on here. Uh, maybe. <laughs> next, <laughs> next question. Which, I wonder. <laughs> Not my physical top. But my top oh, to you know what? <laughs> One second here as I adjust something. I'm going to switch these two because this would be far too complicated. Oh, no. So. It's, Excuse me, as I adjust. You know, you know I made I know. the comment about knowing your favorite book, but now I'm nervous because I don't think I remember it. Well, you know what? I don't remember yours. The pressure's gotten to me. I don't remember what yours is either. Well, I'm trying to remember what Jen's is because Did I- Did you I, even I, talk about it? Yeah. We talked about it when we went walking this weekend. Oh, I know. I don't remember what it is. I'm sorry. Mm, it's like we talk and I don't pay attention to you at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I do think I know what Ariel's favorite book is. I think I, I do. Oh no, I remember one of them. Uh-oh. Don't say it because you said two, but I don't remember what the other one was. Don't say it yet. <laughs> um, okay, so who did I just do? I just did. I'm gonna mark these off. Sorry, Ariel's favorite movie. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is a question for Ariel. Then, what is Jen's biggest fear? Oh, oh no. Does she have any fears? She's pretty fearful. <laughs> she's a pretty fearful person i'm scared of all things <laughs> hmm um my number one fear it's an irrational fear you could even call it a phobia uh-oh then i don't think i know it oops what i have many fears but this is probably the one that makes me sweat hmm okay i'm don't gonna guess know this too you like i'm totally sweating just thinking about it Ooh. We've had this okay. conversation. Okay. Um, I think I'm ready when you are. 
All right, so Jen, <gasps> types. Yay! Oh, she got a point for every Yay, I know something about you. Oh my God. <laughs> I know how to comfort you, not to take you to high high places. Please don't. Right. Yeah. Even even if I just watch people at high places, I get like in a cold sweat. I can't. All, even... I, all I could think about was roller coasters, and I'm like, I think it's hype. I think it's you, you don't really go on roller coasters. I, I, I love roller, roller, coasters, roller coasters, but the thing that differentiates my like fear of heights is if I'm stuck up in a place high mm -hmm. where like I can't control it or something like that. That's where I can't do it. like so. Um, How like, do you fly? I, like, I like roller coasters because you're only there for like a couple seconds, like really high, and then mm -hmm. you know you're not really you're, you're you're constantly moving. Now, my most fearful ride like a Ferris wheel. Hate to them because mm -hmm. you're like they're stuck pretty slow in a bar yep. stuck up there yep. at the top forever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then your family tries to rock it and tries to. <laughs> oh no! To you out. Uh my cousin once took me on a ride and it was like a mini ferris wheel but it was at one of those cheap carnivals oh so it was it was one of those rats. those little caged things where you both oh, just yeah. sit in it and it's in a cage and then, can you go back to the this? top and he grabbed the wheel and pushed it forward and we started barrel rolling and i started yeah. screaming and he started panicking because he couldn't get us to stop and he felt horrible he was a lot older than me and he felt really bad because he's like pulling back on the handle and it wouldn't stop. Oh my god, it was so terrifying. I've never been. Oh man, oh, that's rough. Those. It is horrible. Oh, I liked him. My sister I, would be the one. I ah! probably like and, him now. As a younger child, it was the most terrifying thing I've ever done. <laughs> have you ever puked on a roller coaster? I have. I felt no. really bad. Oh no, yeah, I don't no. puke on those things. I don't eat. It was when, when I was younger. It was at the Walleye Fest, and I was with my cousin. So him and I went on it. It was like this crazy spinning one. It was horrible. Did and like the ride stopped. Everybody? Yep, sure did. And I was really trying to get off the ride, but they had to like unbuckle you. My mom was like, yeah, I, your face literally turned green. Oh God. And then I puked out uh, the side of the, the cart. And I was like, well, at least I looked like I was going to be sick. I wasn't just like, right. I had some sort of cause. Some warning. No, if mm -hmm. I go to a carnival, I don't eat all day. Unless I'm not, if I'm not going to ride the rides, I'm fine with eating. But if I'm going to ride rides, I won't eat anything. I just drink water. Then Oof. if I do throw up, it's just water. <laughs> just water. <laughs> it's a good tactic. Just yeah, yeah. My beads everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> know your right. body, kids. Okay, we're at Ariel has one point and Jen has half a point. So Woo. question to Jen. Who is Ariel's celebrity crush? Oh, I had to change Ooh. this and not ask who Jen's celebrity crush is because you she has not, nine thousand. I, I literally gave you a list. I know mm -hmm. that's why I decided to change it. I asked her uh, the other day, and she gave me like. But you 14. had so many opportunities to get it right. <laughs> that's true. I could have said anybody. Yeah, I'm anyone. thinking of a man. I'm thinking of two. We'll see if you get any of them. Probably not. Let's yeah, see. write down multiple answers, and we'll see if you um, get both of them know. right. I'll give you two points. If you get one of them right, you get one point. Can you give me a hint if it's like a TV or movie or... No hints. Hey, Come on. no, no. They're a this celebrity. Is, How's that? This is how well do you know your yeah. best friend? Like local celebrity or like Hollywood celebrity? I would go, I would go Hollywood. That's pretty broad still. That's fair. I literally, I cannot. Mm. I don't even know what you think is attractive. I mean, they don't have to necessarily, like, when I think of, like, celebrity crush, I don't think about them, like, being attractive, like, aesthetically, but, like, personality or, like, what they do, like, mm -hmm. what they like to do in the world, passionate or... She's so much deeper than you and me, Jen. We just look I know. And go, oh, they're so hot. <laughs> <laughs> so, be... You're so much nicer. You're looking at the inside. and we're To be fair, outside. <laughs> I think the ones that we pick are also more than superficial <laughs> they are i would say that about tom hiddleston because he's super nice and philosophical and i love him i'm gonna put this i don't know too bad it's not meg and like i know right off the bat like kevin Costner, you know kevin, for sure is. i'm putting well, Jason Momoa. Oh, oh no no i'll give you a hint he has a third nipple <laughs> oh my god he has a third i even know a celebrity with a third nipple chandler bing <laughs> <laughs> he had that removed <laughs> That's not it. It's Harry Styles. He has a third Harry Styles has a third nipple. That's what he I'm said. never gonna yeah. look at him the same again. Yeah. Oh my gosh. 
I did not know this about him. Just yeah, he's he like talked about it in an interview, and I was like, huh, okay. And I like his music a lot too. I, say, I also did not know that was your celebrity crush. I didn't either. That's very interesting. Yeah. Really? Um, once upon a time, I really was into One Direction. So my friend and I, we right. went and saw like the One Direction movie. We were the only people in that movie theater. It was hilarious. We were sh- like screaming the whole album in this empty theater. It was so great. We had such a good time. Wow. Did you notice in that video that I had sent you guys about um, that James Corden one day more one in the um, when they were doing like the news sections, like scrolling underneath it says uh james corden steals one direction again or tries to steal them again <laughs> oh gosh no i don't think i go watch that like, and i'm gonna have to do that you scroll or whatever it says like, he tries to steal them again you oh, should watch great. carpool karaoke with just harry styles oh, I've seen hilarious it. i think I'm i have seen that you, one my new name for you now i'm just gonna call you watermelon sugar watermelon sugar, watermelon sugar. <laughs> oh my god that's such a good song Oh, it is. I wish, we, I wish we could play copyrighted music on here because I would be like, play that in the background while we're playing this game. Yeah, isn't so there much. like you can only play ten seconds or something? Yeah, I don't even know. I'd rather not get the podcast copyright strike. Well, no, but I don't know. I'll ask Nathan. I'll be like, hey, we want that song. How do the YouTubers get away with it? I think if you can find, if there's like a channel on YouTube where you can do just the background music of things. I think if you don't use lyrics, you're okay. Mm. Ooh, can we just do background music with it? Oh, that's fun. so bad. Or I like or the instrumental do... version of Watermelon Sugar. That's a good song too. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe you can't do the music, but you can for some things. But I do know that you can use it in its entirety if it's a parody. So like if you made up different lyrics to it. Oh, interesting. Oh, that is correct. Because you yes. can do parodies. Watermelon salad. <laughs> Watermelon salad. <laughs> All right, in case we forgot, we are still playing a game, and it is Ariel's turn. Uh, the question is, how long has Jen worked for the library? Ooh, okay. See, for the people out there, it, it, fun. It, is, it is so hard for us to stay on one topic, even playing a game, because each uh, question and answer has such a history behind it that we just talk and talk and talk. It's interesting. I'm staring at the camera of the three of us on screen, and we all have a different color brown for our hair. We do. Yours is darker than mine, though. I think I'm the it middle is, ground. It is, it is very, yeah, it's very dark. And yeah, it could just be the, just the dark. It could just be the lighting. This this room's weird. It's huge and open, it has giant windows, and I'm sitting in the dark. I don't understand. Are you ready? I'm ready. Do you know? I think so. 15 years oh no oh so close uh, but not quite uh i knew it was over 10 but then i'm like i was trying to think of like when you started because i know you've been here for a while and then i was trying to think like when you became director just wasn't oh. there if you want to do when i was director it's only been three i was gonna say that was three years ago i remember that one actually this is the fourth year this is four already yeah this oh my moly have i crushed your soul yet you no, but I'm only so on year two, so. I can't, I can't. Although I will have been here for six years this coming August. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, It feels weird, right? I know. And I keep track of it because my first year here, I didn't have to do anything for summer reading. And it was the last year we did those nasty little cutouts on the string. <laughs> I didn't have to deal with that. So it was awful. Only the sticker sheets. Yep. <laughs> the sticker sheets is so much better. No, we don't okay. do any, none of that. Uh, the standing scores are still Ariel one, Jen half a point. Dang! So this, this is not what I prepped for. <laughs> goes back to Jen. We prepped who, for who is Ariel's favorite band? This almost doesn't count because we just talked about um, One Direction, but she could have a new favorite band. Mm, Can mm. I vote One Direction? Do I get a point? <laughs> no, I wouldn't say there. I wouldn't consider them my favorite, so I'm gonna just guess that. Who could be my, I listen to so much music though. Like I don't listen to just one type or just one group. See, as I was writing these questions down for you guys, I was trying to cultivate it more towards like Hmm. what I know of each of you. And I was also posing the same question to myself. And I don't think I personally have a favorite band. Yeah. If I had to pick one. I do, I have a definite one, the Beatles. Mm. 
See, I don't know if I would pick Imagine Dragons for my favorite. I love all of their music and they've always been like the tops for me, but I recently started listening. I, I guess I can't say recently, probably a year now. I've been listening to an Icelandic um, group called Low Roar. And oh, then if, if anybody has watched anything or played anything for Death Stranding, um, that is where I first heard his music and I have fallen in love with it. And I don't know. I, I fall back on that. Through. Also, his music got me through the dumpster fire of 2020. So I just really feel a deep connection with his music now. Shout out to that. Yeah. Love you, Low Roar. If I could come to a concert, I could. But Iceland is so far away. All right. Even Ariel, there. what is your favorite band? All right. I put um, any band that screams at you. <laughs> I, ha- I do listen to some. I do you listen, listen to some screamo. screamo. <laughs> I do listen to some screamo. Wow. But I can't really say I have a favorite band. I mean, I really do enjoy Hootie and the Blowfish, but that's because of Darius Rucker, but he's still a single guy. Well, he's country I mean, I, now. He is. I still like his uh, other stuff. I can't really say I have one. Because, okay. like, I listen to, like, Imagine Dragons. I listen to a lot of single people. I listen to... Yeah. Um, See, I could not have won this. Do I get half a point? <laughs> yeah, Little Mix. Like, uh, <laughs> give her another half a point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no answer. Really, there's no answer. There's no that answer for that. I mean, she she doesn't answer, I listen to all. No answer. I have variety. Yeah, that makes I also sense. Have tastes. I know. I'll I give you Michael's favorite. To a lot of different stuff. What's Michael's favorite? Um, he loves like John Party. He listens to like only country. So I'm always like, can we do some variety, please? It's the one thing I don't listen to is country. He has some others, but that's a top one. Don't hate me for it. I just don't know why. It's just meh. I just meh. That about- could be in our unpopular opinion. We hate country. I, I know. Actually, I that's, do like not true. that's not true. I like some country, just very little. It very mm-hmm. little for me too. It really depends on the song or the artist. All right, Ariel, this question is for you. Uh, I'm ready. Is Jen's favorite ice cream flavor? Oh. 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 Okay. I think I know this one. I'm going on a limb. Okay, before Jen gives it's us really the real, long. she's like, "Oh, it's writing a book." Before <laughs> Jen gives the correct answer, um, can I can I guess? Because I feel like I know what it is. You feel like you know this? I feel like Rocky Road is your favorite, but can oh. you give us the real answer? It's not Rocky Road. It could be mint chocolate chip <gasps> cookie dough. Oh, oh, I do like cake batter too. I do yeah. like cake batter also. <laughs> She put cake batter or cookie dough. That is a point. I was like, cereal. I'm pretty sure it's cookie dough, but I'm like, it could be cake batter. I, do, I couldn't I remember. Do, I do like cake batter too. Well, I don't know if I it's like, like cake batter or birthday cake. Is that the same? I guess it is. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't like mint. Mm-mm, no, I was going to be really upset. That's I'm you. like, do you like the mint? I do. That's why I was like, I can't remember if we have the same favorite ice cream. And I kind of was freaked out for a second. I don't know why I thought you liked Rocky Road. I think I had something to do with the marshmallows. It's good though. You like Rocky Road, don't you? No? Moose tracks? Ben likes Moose tracks. Moose tracks is my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Moose tracks. Um, so Jen, uh, what is Ariel's favorite fast food restaurant? <laughs> oh, interesting. It was so, I'm serious. It was very hard to think um, of these questions because. <laughs> not Ray's. <laughs> so many questions were, when I looked up. They, they did me dirty. I still like, love them very about that order um, um the only no. thing i'm going to say to you jen i'm going to pick on what i've mostly been eating okay. so it's like two there's only two restaurants all right well that all depends on if jen knows what i didn't really recently. think this was your favorite but you've been eating this a bit a fair bit so subway <gasps> yeah 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 <laughs> that is your favorite <laughs> fast food restaurant is subway i mean if i had my way um i would probably eat a whole bunch like chick-fil-a or sub or chipotle but since they're kind of far i only really eat subway right now 
That's why I didn't want to like give a false question. Mm, yeah, Chick Fil A yeah. is my fave. Oh. Mm. original mm. chicken sandwich. Chick Fil A is so good. I know. Did you, did you know they have spicy chicken sandwich style too? I yes, yeah. I saw that. That's awesome. If I was ever close enough, I could just go there. But you live the same place as spicy me. chicken. <laughs> it's too far. You have to try McDonald's. You live see. literally two miles from. Me. I did one try mile. that. I think even one mile from me. It was not. Um, it's not the same, unfortunately, in my eyes. Uh, it was a valiant effort, but Chick Fil A is still top tier. Right. Well, that is still a point for Jen for getting that one correct. Nice. And then it goes back to her to answer the next question. Or no, it's Ariel's turn to mm-hmm. to um answer a question and it is what is jen's favorite donut flavor (laughs) what oh no okay you should know this because i've talked about this a lot with you guys yeah Mm, it's not sorry i don't think this is right i mean i would say most people have a favorite donut (sighs) okay i have an answer I'm going to give you it. However, I'll be quite upset if your favorite's Boston and I put jelly. Ah, Trick question. I don't like donuts. Yes. (laughs) What a a rip, man. I thought about that later. I'm like, this is a dope fake question because she Uh, hates donuts and she never eats them because we bring donuts to work and she never eats them because she doesn't. I tell you guys. I've told you guys a lot too. I'm like, because you guys always have donuts. All uh, all you guys do, and I'm just. Like, I know. Hey, donuts. We eat I donuts like all them. the time. Sometimes I will once in a while eat a donut, and if I do, I like like the white powdered ones. Mm-hmm. So a jelly. Not a jelly. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> the white powder. Uh, they have the white powder on them. She does not. With nothing eat in it. Donuts. But I don't really like them. No. I liked your evil laugh at the end too. <laughs> <laughs> I love because she got the smirk on her face right away because she knew that you would put a real guess. I was putting a real guess. I knew she was going to say, I don't like donuts. I got robbed. (laughs) All right. So next question to Jen. Um, I assume you would probably know this answer seeing as how you hired her for the library. Based on this game so far, it's a (laughs) crapshoot. Based on your knowledge of when you hired Ariel. What was Ariel's first job? Ooh. <laughs> and I've said this a lot, so. Uh, have you? Anyone would think I read your resume. Let's see. I hope so. <laughs> I did. But I Maybe I, I put too much things. pressure on you there. I did. But you know my mind. <laughs> um, see, I proved my worth through my work. I say my first job was at a coffee shop, but if we want to get super technical, well, technically, worked, you know, on your resume, you didn't put like what your first, first job was. You just put like your first library job. So I know, I think I know that, but did you, I'm sure you had a job before that. Did you not? Well, it depends you, that's, on what that's, your final answer is. That's for you to guess. Well, I know. That's what I mean. If we get technical, I worked for one night at a restaurant in Washington and then I quit. Yeah, yeah. You even got the location. Oh, your Look first you. job was as a page at Ida yep. Roop? Yep. So your first job was at a library. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I guess you didn't work for Jen. There. I was there um, almost 10 years. I was like nine and a half years. A page the whole time or you just moved no, up? Oh, no. I worked up. So I was like a page. Then I was a clerk. Then I did mm-hmm. uh, maintenance and collections as a librarian so I did a lot I've worn worn quite a few hats I just wasn't sure if you had something like did you get that out of high school nope I was still in high school um when I first got the job and then I did a lot of shelving so I learned the collection I learned the system I learned how everything worked and so it was nice that I did it like through a community college and I became a clerk and I went to school and then I came back in between summers and then I came back and worked full time as a clerk after that and then became a librarian through my graduate degree. Um, Then I became the maintenance person and ordering all the books for the adult collections and I've done programming and local history and I've worked at um, public, academic, 
uh, special library when I did my internship. Right. See why I hired her. <laughs> it's it's really cool as a first as a first job. That's why I just wasn't sure if like you know most kids like in high school or something get like a dishwashing job or something. That's what I mean. Like I say, coffee shop was my first job, but if I think technically, I worked one night at a restaurant washing dishes and I quit the next morning because it sucked. I bet you guys. Yeah. I bet you guys don't know what mine was. You can't. Guess. I was. I was a volunteer though before I became a page so I knew like the people there so I knew like wow. this would be something I wanted to do but I didn't know the person hiring so it was kind of scary no you know I I don't think I do know what Jen's first job was you, guess we'll never, you, guess we'll never you guess. were it's something so unlike me you would never guess it were you a, a youth dog minister? groomer a dog groomer. <laughs> were you a cat groomer that's super unlike you because you're allergic to cats. Were you mowing lawns? No. I was in high school. Um, the first thing I ever did was I was an umpire at the Oregon Rec. Oh, really? Man, I and I did that, that for a couple of years. Oh. So now, were you for softball, softball or baseball? Both. Nice. That makes sense, though. You are very sporty. You like sports. But, man, you had to be, like, aggressive because those parents and mm. some the parents coaches, are scary some, some some coaches but mainly parents they are scary and they yell at you and so i'm just like i it can't even tell you my people i had to throw out of games oh i wouldn't even want that job i'm nope. just like these are kids man <laughs> that's crazy uh, <laughs> all right so back to our game our point standing our aerial two points jen two and a half she has a little oh, bit of advantage thing. yeah so back to aerial I hope you know this one. I don't know. I don't know if I know this question. What is Jen's middle name? Oh man. Okay. If you can't get that, I will also accept my maiden name, which technically is supposed to be my middle name once you get married. Oh man. Oh, I don't know if I know that either. I mean, I know that one. Yeah, this is a blind guess. Uh, this is very wrong. Are you ready okay. for it? It is Michelle, and then my main name's Oh, Overland. I did know Overland. Oh, shame mm -hmm. on me. Mine was Marie. Marie. At least she got the M. She got an M, I but know not Overland, no. Because it's on your Facebook. I see that. Yeah. My guess, actually, it would have also been an M name, but I was thinking it was like Marilyn or something, and I don't know that's why. my mom's name, Marilyn. I think maybe that's why I was thinking it was like, oh, your mom's name is your middle name or something. My mom told me, she goes, I wanted to name you Michelle, but she goes, I couldn't think of a good like middle name for it because at the time, like all she could think about was Michelle Lynn or Michelle Lee or something like that. Mm. It's like, <laughs> I, I had a friend. I'm like, you could have named it after my grandma, Elizabeth, could have been Michelle Elizabeth. That would have been a nice name. She's like, I didn't think of that. I'm like, because I hate Jennifer. I really hate that. <laughs> well, I have a friend who everybody calls him Tyler because his mom wanted to name him Tyler, but they couldn't she like they thought that the middle name would not fit kind of like that situation because his middle name was going to be michael but tyler michael didn't sound good so his name is michael tyler and nobody ever calls him michael you know there's a lot of people that go by their middle names my neighbor um his name is uh ralph mitchell but they, he goes by mitchell because his dad's name was ralph and um, like in the yeah. south like where my mom grew up and stuff like that everybody gets called by their middle names like my aunt gail that's her middle name her real name is patricia um uh -huh. my mom's middle name it was her her name was marilyn Toinette, and she always went by Toinette or 20 or something like that like it's very common in the south to go by your middle name that's interesting <laughs> my middle name um, is only used when my mother is yelling at me <laughs> i'm yeah i don't think anybody uses my middle name for anything i don't so. know any of y'all's middle names by the way well, we couldn't use it here because it's the same as um, our physical officer. My middle name is Brianne. Is it? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mine's Ray. Oh, I didn't know Ray. that. I knew it was some with kind of an R. E. With an E. Because cool. my dad's is with a Y. Okay. Oh, what sense. a nice homage. Homage? <laughs> yeah. All right. We need to keep going because... We're eating up time just talking about all this stuff. I want to, let's get through Sorry. this game a little quicker. How many questions do we have? Are there still quite a few? Oh, I have like 20 questions and we're on question 12. 
Okay, we can pick it up. We can pick it we up. Can we do can do, do speed rounds. We won't explain ourselves. Yeah, yeah we yeah. were just, sorry. Sorry for everybody listening, but we just get carried away. Like I said, it just, it's so much fun <laughs> to see the answer behind everything. So this is for Jen. Uh, what is Ariel's favorite book? You said you knew the answer to this. I knew one of them. I, she's got like two. Then you better put down both answers. <laughs> I'm trying to <laughs> wonder what the second one is. I know the first one. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I, I remember what your book is, Jen. The Count of Monte Cristo. <laughs> yes, I do like that one. All right, I said a uh, series of bunch of yeah, books. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that is your favorite? Yeah, I read, read it one too. so often as a child, and even now I'll reread it as an adult. I know it's a kid's series, but I just enjoy it. Right. You had another know, one was, that you mentioned, but I just don't remember what it is. I was thinking your favorite book series was The Princess Diaries. Oh, no, I did read that one, though. It is good. It's nothing like the movie, though. I got yeah. questions. All right. But that's so, another episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Question for Ariel. If Jen could have any superpower, what would it be? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Depending on if you even had that conversation. I don't even know if you ever had that conversation. I think I'm fairly confident, but I have to make sure I spell it right. I don't know if this is a superpower, but I really, uh -oh. like this. but I really would like this. Your girl goes, uh oh. I thought I knew it, um, and then she said, I don't know if it's a superpower, and then I was like, well, that changes what I was thinking, because I would define it. I do have another thing that I would like to do, but um, that is a superpower, but I don't think I would like it in the end, so okay, so I want a photographic memory, Oh, um, but however, mind reading, I do, I would like, because I think that would be awesome, but I don't think I would want to know what people are thinking about me per se yeah oh, that's scary. yeah i, I get that for stress sure. enough about that as it is i don't think i could take it i will I give ariel half a point for yeah, that because, because if that's what it would be i would do that but i think i will happily be awesome because you could learn literally everything then like i can learn Honestly. all the languages i want to learn and stuff and i could just remember things my poor brain right now right no that would be a good super i see why Definitely. you said that that makes sense yeah so back to jen uh, what is Ariel's favorite store to go to? Like your favorite place, her favorite place to go shopping. Um, oh, oh, if it was closer, that's the hint. Which they just opened one up in Westlake. God, that's so like, many hints, but I still don't why even would know that what you're even help me? <laughs> yeah, okay. sorry, I don't know that one. I don't know. I can't wait for you to probably good i'm not that close i'd spend a lot of money in there hmm. i'll give you a fun fact once you write down your answer trader joe's nope Ooh. we've all been there together world yeah. market world market <laughs> you seriously yep. like that oh my goodness yeah i that love this cool but I mean, so much fun i where is west lake how far away is that it's like it's cleveland. well from port clinton it's an hour it's like an hour it's, it's by cleveland kind of so it'd probably be like an uh, hour and a half I want to go again. That was super that fun. Was really yeah, cool they store. just opened up a world market there. That we went yeah, uh, yeah, at I Christmas time was also. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to say it because I thought I would give it away. Mm. Like it, It's okay. Even if you said that when we went to go see that play, that store we stopped in, mm. I wouldn't have gotten it. because I mm. love, because I it's probably, so international. I Everything's international. That, yeah. I love it. No, that's a good answer. Um, Definitely. But I've only been there once. They should mm -hmm. move one clo even closer to us because I would probably go a lot more. I'm surprised they didn't have one in Toledo yet. Yeah. All right. This also feels like a trick question because it's it's an if. Ariel, uh -oh. if you know this, does Jen's car have a name? And if so, what is it? <sighs> it's a okay. joke name. But yeah, it doesn't have a name. It does have a name. See, so does my car. But it's, a, it's a, but it's a joke because we had to name it something like it for the for the controls. Oh, that's right. Okay. And so um, I just I just jokingly named it to Ben, and he put it in the car, and I was like, "That's not really what I wanted to name it." But yeah, all of my cars name. have had a name over the yeah, years. Yeah, mine has a name. Well, mine used to have names and stuff, but this one I didn't really mean it to have this name. <laughs> Yeah, when I had my Volkswagen Beetle, 
I named her Sweet Cheeks, and now my little sporty call, I call her Cynthia after the Rugrats doll. Oh, okay. No, <laughs> see, their little spiky hair. My like, car's called Porter because it takes me places, and also I named it after Sam Porter Bridges from Death Stranding. Oh, I like that. I, I like so that. His name is Porter. Yeah. All right, here we go. My, my Tesla's name is Blue Lightning. Yes. <gasps> Oh wow, that is so perfect! <laughs> and like, right? I'm like, I know blue is in the name, but that's all I had, How and I'm you like, I'm that? guessing. Did you read my 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 dash? It was like I'm going on intuition here, and I'm like, I know I've talked about it with you, but I'm like, I all I could think about was lightning. I know now that you've said it, it sounds very familiar. Like, I think you probably told me the story before of how like, yeah, you guys had to name it for the. Um, the console yeah the console <laughs> so yeah I would probably not have guessed that though so that was very Ooh. good Ariel's up to three points three and a half oh, she's, points. A she's a winner Jen well, it's not over yet <laughs> has three and a half points you guys are I have no confidence in my abilities so I believe in you onward I'm waiting for the favorite color question we prevail <laughs> to Jen what was Ariel's least favorite subject in school? Ooh, ooh. Um, hmm. I should throw my papers away. The irony of the subject makes me laugh, and how it pertains to my everyday life. Interesting. Oh, that makes sense. That might be able to help you a little bit. I don't think it does, but it should give you a good guess. I feel like. Mm -hmm. Is it um English? It is not. So since oh. I have my master's in library and information science, um, I hated science growing up. Hated it. I was going to put that. Because mm -hmm. I thought I remembered you saying it, but then you're like, that's what it pertains to my everyday life. I'm like, science. What do we do here with science? No, <laughs> I, I would science. I would have said literature. That's too. not real. It's <laughs> not real. <laughs> fake degree. It's all fake. I hope no, not. I'm paying no, for no, the real science degree portion. Is the science um, portion really is like um, information tech technology. Yeah, um, it's not that's like why it's, it's not like true sciences. No, not like the beakers and stuff. Algorithm. I, I seriously was going to put that too. Oh my gosh, why did you play with my head? I know well, that's why I said it's like uh, a play. Yeah. The irony. That's true. No points that round. And I had this. Back to Ariel. What is Jen's Favorite phone app. Phone app? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's got that one app that they play every single day or they use. It's so stupid. I don't even know what it's called right now. Hold on. Oh, well, this isn't the one that I'm writing down. So I'm going to stop you right there so I can share my answer because uh, I went off the basis of something you use every day. Okay. okay. I'll do two then. I'll do the game I'm playing constantly and then I'll do one that I use all the time. Ooh, ooh, wait, I might. Okay. Yeah, so Jen, what, what is the real answer? What is your favorite phone All right. app? I use Facebook a lot, but the game I play is Project Makeover. <laughs> okay. I put a room decor game design Oh yeah, I do play it. That you know, I haven't played it in a while. It is, it's um, at home design or something. Yeah. So that's not, uh, that's not what Well, I put your is. Tesla because you have to use that for your car. <laughs> my, my key. That's your true. Car. Every, every single day. Uh, sorry, but that's I can't count key. those points. It's my uh, That was really good guesses no, no, though. No, no. Darn. I think you should give her a half point for that, for that, um, day the makeover game, one. I do, I had played that a lot. All right. I All right, give her half a catching point. Catching up on your, uh decor games that um, i haven't played it in about two three weeks i i want to play it again but i'm just like uh, that, moves, <laughs> that moves ariel up to four points jen not far behind with three and a half uh onwards jen what is ariel's favorite cookie i should say cookie flavor i think i know this because i think it's also my favorite cookie oh See, again, I had a hard time cultivating questions for you guys. So as I was doing this, I was thinking of the answer to the questions relating to myself. Do you so. know, do you know what your favorite cookie is? Can I put this up? No. Well, She's looking. Um, yeah, Ariel, what is the 
answer. So if it's a homemade cookie. Snickerdoodle? I was going to say sugar cookie or snickerdoodle. Yeah. So they're like, I mean, that's pretty Those close. are also my favorite. I like those as well. I do like chocolate yeah. too, but snickerdoodles were that. <laughs> yeah, and I love my great grandma sugar cookies. Oh, yum, tastic. I will go ahead and give her snickerdoodles a point for are that. yum, tastic as well. Yep. I will give Jen the point for that because it was very close. And also Got partially it. the answer. So I'm back partially. to Ariel. <laughs> Uh, who is Jen's favorite superhero? <laughs> yes. I swear, every time she giggles or laughs, it's like, uh, <laughs> you just know she's going to get the answer wrong or something. Oh, I'm confident I'm getting it wrong. <laughs> hey. But I'll also tell you the flash. Ant-Man. Ant-Man! Oh. Do you want to know why? It's probably because Paul Rudd's under that suit. See, I go. know. Like, <laughs> truth. Now, now, when I was younger, um, I used to really like Robin a lot. I thought that was my favorite one. Mm. See, I can't remember who I talked to. Somebody said they really liked The Flash. It might Obviously, it wasn't you, John. <laughs> you gotta... I don't even know. It depends on if they're Marvel or DC fans. That's true. So, this is kind of another hero question, but for Jen to answer, who was Ariel's childhood hero? Ariel's looking in like, it's she don't even man. know the answer to that question. <laughs> ice cream truck driver. <laughs> I do love ice cream. We really didn't have that many ice cream trucks uh, drive in our neighborhood, honestly. It was a treat. You had to chase them down, but you could still get it. Childhood hero? I don't know. I'm just going to put a big crack. I can't even talk. Question mm, I have an answer. Mm, I'm going to say my mom. Just oh. because my mom mm. and I have been through a lot, especially like when I had my back issues and I couldn't walk and I'd have leg spasms and stuff. And like my dad was always there too, but mom hardcore. That is such a good answer. Yeah, mom. Moms are so good about that. that you know? Yeah, and she would help me a lot. Even. There. Even when I ask dumb questions and I'd be like, never mind, I figured it out. Like I feel like you need that Instagram thing where it's like does the light into your face and it goes bum, 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 you know, like the, the, the Oh love, yeah, yeah, love yeah. And yeah. still shout out to dad. I love you too. You gave me also do that for Mother's support. Day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, moms are moms are real heroes, you know. It's super cool to be one. Shout out to moms out there. Hashtag you rock you rock. Yeah. Oh. All right, back to Ariel. Uh, does Jen have a favorite video game character? If so, who is it? I do, actually. Oh, I knew you probably no. did. There, okay, I'd be right I'm guessing. A, it's coming out with a movie soon. I would say, would I be right in guessing that it's an older video game character? <sighs> Wait, hold on. I almost put the game instead of the person. <laughs> Oh, so now I'm actually curious if you have the same favorite character as I do. Um, just crap, given on what is, the comment you just made. What is the game called that I'm thinking of? You need to guess um, the character, not the game. Yeah, but I, if I think of the game, then I might be able to identify the character. But I don't, it's like the game with the guy and the, the, the little girl, but there's like zombies and apocalyptic. Are you talking about The Last of Us? Yes. Okay, that's my brother's. That that's one of my it's, brother's favorite this games. Is one of the character you can play this character in Super Smash Bros. <laughs> the confusion's so real. <laughs> Not Bowser or Link. Bowser. It worked to be Link. Uh, no, it's what was it? Link from Zelda. Oh, Link from I Zelda. Said, or Link. Oh, dang you it. didn't write. Oh. You did not write or Link. I did you not. I Bowser. almost did, and I was like, ah, I'll just stay with Bowser. I should have wrote. Link. I almost just wrote Zelda. I'm like, that's the girl. Right. No, <laughs> it is the girl. So yeah, like Link. Link's the Darn it. I, I guess that wasn't who myself. I was thinking of. But there's a, there's a movie supposedly coming out about that's right. Zelda. I I forgot about that. When you said there's a movie it. coming out, I my brain immediately went to the Uncharted movie because Nathan Drake is my favorite video game character. Darn. So, yeah. I robbed Still. myself of a point. 
it's it's kind of amazing. Your instinct. I probably I know. wouldn't know most of these answers either, but as we are standing, Ariel is at four points and Jen is at four and a half, slightly in the lead there. So need that question, point. He asks back to Jen, what is Ariel's favorite Disney movie? And it can be a princess movie or other. Ooh, ooh. Whatever ooh. her favorite Disney That's movie hard. Is. That's it hard. There's a lot. Them. For sure. Eek. I, I have a favorite though. I don't know. trying to think of something that I always go back to. Okay, I got it. I can't spell it. That's not good then. (laughs) (laughs) Maleficent. Oh, it's not, though she is my favorite villain. It's Mary Poppins or um, Mulan. Okay. Wow. Good one. wow. Yeah, those are both Mulan Two is also a good one. Love Mulan Two, where they get the princesses. A long time. I remember yeah. it because I watch it, but I don't. I haven't seen it in a long time. All right, so that's another round. No points. Next question. Two. That Ariel. one is hard. There's a lot of Disney movies that I watch on the regular. Mm, Aladdin's my favorite. Mm, I just the OG or the, the, the remake? Oh, the original. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All the way. I like the remake. I do really enjoy the remake, but the original, I mean, I can't get enough Robin Williams in my life. So good. So So good. good. All right. Back to Ariel. If Jen could travel anywhere right now, where would it be? Probably not this exact moment. Not like she wants to transport (laughs) away from this game. She is winning after all. Um, But just if she could go anywhere, just pack her bags and fly away, where would she go? Oops, 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 oops. That's not how you spell it. I don't think I spelled this right. I'm not confident in my spelling. I'm taking a two second. Uh oh. Oh god, I'm not doing it right. Okay. Oops. All right. I think I have something. I'm not sure if it's for England, but I will also take anywhere in the UK. Okay. What'd you say? Scotland or New Zealand? Scotland's in the UK. Um, okay, I'll give you that point then. Woo! Yeah. I almost put London, but all I could think about was like the Hobbit and your Scottish dance, your dancing and all that yeah. good stuff. New Zealand would be cool. Um, I've always wanted to go to Australia, but I just I, long yeah, flight. there's I so many know. places to go. There are. I would love to I'm a traveler. I, I would pretty much go anywhere. I love to tour Europe. Like, go over there for a month. And just yes. see as looking, much as I keep people. looking at like cruises there that tour um, Ooh, Europe yes. and stuff because like you fly there and like go around like the channels or like the Mediterranean or something like that. That yeah. would be sweet. I love that. I've, That'd I've, be cool. I have also looked into the the Viking River cruises over in that area. Those are fantastic. Those it's are like a but... it's like a week or two, but yeah, you just stay in like the local river ishes and then like you mm-hmm. um, get dropped off and can explore the city. It is very expensive, but I would love it. So we only have three questions left and our bonus question, which could make or break you guys. So back to Dan. What is Ariel's favorite animal? Oh, I feel like I said this before. Uh, We'll see. This character is also in a Disney Channel show, if that helps you. It doesn't, but I feel like it's a it's a sloth. No, Ooh. that's Elena. Platypus. Oh, it is Elena. Oh, oh a platypus. <laughs> it's Africa. It makes me up. I love platypus. You love and Perry? Manatee. You love what was Perry that? the platypus? platypus? Yes, I have a Perry the platypus at home. Yes. My sister went to the Disney store on her high school trip, and she came home and bought that for me. And he goes, he does the thing. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Oh, you're right. That was, was a sloth. Oh. Yeah, I yeah. know that. Shame, shame. Oh, I know her favorite animal. So <laughs> let her know. <laughs> All right. Uh, to Ariel, then. What is Jen's favorite musical? This feels unfair. I think we all know what it is. It's so obvious. <laughs> Do I have to write it down? Yeah. No. Yeah. Because, well, I'll... she's the one guessing. Well, I guess you don't have to write it down. It is. 
Oh, I gotta be honest. I was gonna say Phantom, <laughs> but that's oh, Sierra's yes, favorite. That's, that's, that's my favorite. favorite. Yeah. I do like mm-hmm. Phantom, but Lame is is my ultimate favorite. Even you remember? We even oh, went and saw that. Like I was gonna say, do you remember how we went to Columbus always. and she cornered Josh outside? And he had <laughs> yes, picture. that's on me. I knew better. You knew that because you took the photo. I did. I was quite surprised, but it was so funny. Cause she's like, can you see a picture? And I like look up and there he is. And I'm like, oh my God, I know you. I know. And you then, were like, so shocked. Just like, okay. <laughs> no, your exact words were, holy crap. <laughs> you didn't even know what you were doing. You're like, why are you giving me a camera? I said, you gotta do this fast or he's gonna leave. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I did. We got the shot. It was great. It was a great time. By the it way. Was. For those out right. there that have no idea what we're talking about, it was Josh Grosso who played Marius in the national tour of <laughs> Les Mis. Yes, we, we went to two, see him in two years ago. We went to see him in Columbus. Where we, where we go, Columbus? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So good times, yeah. good times. All right, back to Jen. This is the last question before our bonus question. Oof. If Ariel could have any type of pet, what would it be? Uh, does it have to be like exotic? <laughs> I, I guess it could be like fictional too, honestly. I don't know. I always yeah, thought you just like... wanted like a dog. So I had to tell you what type. <laughs> <laughs> if I could have one, I'd want a platypus. Oh, that what would you do with a platypus? This, it's her me, favorite. Like, they they don't do much. Her, her I was going to say. <laughs> oh, They're just wow. fun. They're just fun little things. They're interesting. They make really cool noises. They don't sound don't like Perry you in your apartment. But yeah, that'd be oh my gosh, that'd be so great if only. That would be amazing. You so know, that would be a fun one, a chinchilla, because they ooh. look like really cool squirrels, but like they yes. ate themselves in dirt. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing that scares me about them is I did look them up because I was going to get one once. Um, is if they get wet. Can they trip to a gremlin? <laughs> yes. Don't feed them after midnight. Uh, no, because their fur is so thick, and the reason they take dirt baths is because they can't get wet. If their fur gets wet, um, they will mold. <gasps> oh, ew, mm-hmm. that's problematic. And I felt like that was really probably harder to take care of and more than I wanted to undertake. So definitely look up animals before you get a random M- animal to pet because they can be very uh, costly or hard to maintain and you want to make sure you dry them, them really well it would still get moldy no probably if you dry them really well it's fine it's probably prolonged exposure to water i wonder if they um, smell i think they just have that regular rodent smell to them but oh. yeah if, you, if they get moldy it's gonna be worse Ugh. yeah for sure but yeah i think that's probably like really bad taking care of them if you're like really not paying attention to them or you give them a pool of water to soak in don't do that to your chinchillas. It's not um, worth it. Anyways, I digress. Our current standings for this game is Jen at four and a half points and Ariel at five points. Whoa. Dun, dun, dun. We have one bonus question posed to both Ariel and Jen. It is worth five points. Let's okay. see who gets it right. Mm-hmm. And just to trip you both up, it's a question about me. Oh, no. (laughs) Let's see how well you know me, your third sister. (laughs) Why did I name my tortoise Bermuda? Oh, no. I recall talking to you about your turtle, but I've probably told you both this. But we'll be fair. I've had Bermuda for almost six years. And now when she comes up in a conversation, it's almost normal because I talk about her all the time. So I probably haven't discussed the reasoning behind her name in quite a while. I feel like you have once and I just don't remember. Mm -hmm. It's not like some place that you wanted to go. I feel like it was because she doesn't know where she's going. Like you'd lose her all the time. (laughs) (laughs) That is an interesting guess. Uh, (laughs) I called her Bermuda because... (laughs) She does. She'll get lost easily. She'll get lost. If you let her go, she'll just get lost. Oh, yeah. She'll just wander. She'll just take off. That's my answer. Okay. She's you ready for my long winded answer? answer? Is because she'll wander off and doesn't know where she's going. And then disappears. Oh. <laughs> Magically appears. Yeah, I forgot an S there. And, and then disappears. Di- disappears. That was awesome. No, like the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> That's it's what my little icon is. It's very funny. 
And I almost want to give Ariel half a point for that because I may supply a picture for Nathan to put on the screen for those of you watching, but I'll go ahead and explain um, for our listeners. Um, when I got Bermuda, she was not a baby tortoise. So she had been, um, she was probably the um, pet shop said maybe 10 years at that point. So her shell was already as formed as it was going to be. And when tortoises come out of their shell, that's usually what gives them like the way their shell is going to look. And then as they're growing, if they're malnourished or they don't have the right amount of like food or veggies or whatever, it can deform their shell. Um, she had a slight deformity in her younger years before I ever got her. So in the middle of her back, in the middle of her shell, um, instead of being squares, uh, I can't think of the word for the top of their shell. Triangle? That's funny. <laughs> but yeah, they're supposed to be squares. As you, you guys all know what a, a tortoise shell looks like, it's yep. usually squares. The middle of her back is all triangles. And that was from wow. malnourishment when she was younger. Um, so I named her Bermuda because she has triangles on her back. That's so cool. And I want to give Ariel that half point because she said Bermuda triangle, but... Is that good enough for that half point? Would I mean, it be a clear, clear defined winner? If so, then do it. <laughs> I mean, it, it's still. So it would still be tied. It would still actually, Ariel would still be in the lead, even if I didn't give her that. Uh, no big deal. Points. Give um, it to her. If I give it to her, that gives Ariel an even 10 points. Holy. And the clear winner of our friends newlywed game. Holy mackerel! She wins. Ariel's our winner. Jen, you had four and a half points. You get another that title. You get another that title. Was hard. She, she was also the the safety champion of the month. That's true. <laughs> true we we take quizzes now to make sure we all up on our safety here at the library. And she's the queen of bloodborne pathogens. She is the queen. Of, that sounds so bad. <laughs> I know all the safety tips and tricks. Yeah, so, yeah, she totally nailed that. She's super safe. She knows how to be safe here at work. And I admit that last question was kind of a tricky one because I don't often talk to you guys about why I named her that. And it wasn't about you guys, which is what the whole game was. So, haha. For the record, I just <laughs> would like to share, I know her favorite, Jen's favorite color, which is blue. Oh, I was yeah. really banking on that being a question and it never you was. Really you would have got it right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't be so basic. And yours is purple and Sierra's is green. Yeah, it's green. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, we should have. Oh, if we had all wore our favorite colors, that'd be so great. Oh, Same. Yeah, you did wear it. On it. Dang purple. It. There's nothing green on my outfit today. I'm wearing maroon. <sighs> Bummer. All right, that was a good game. That was super fun, you guys. <laughs> I learned a lot. <laughs> so many, so many rabbit trails. <laughs> it does. It does rabbit trail because you always want to know the answer behind everything, and it takes so much longer to play. But it's also so much fun to get to know everybody. I'm gonna tie my hair up because it's driving me crazy. And before we, you know, close out of our podcast for this month, um, we talked about in the beginning that we were gonna be doing a new format, and as part of that new formatting, we wanted to uh, add a new segment at the end of uh, every podcast from now on that we're calling Word Scientist. Yes. So I have asked uh, Nathan, um, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> he's one of the clerks here at the library at Elmore, and he also edits all of our videos for us um, to compile these mystery words for us to dissect by scientists. And he has provided, he gave me a list and I'm going to pick just the first one he Pick put one. on the list. The first one he put on the list because I've never heard of it. It is mail drop. Mail drop. Yeah. Like mail drop? It is. Is spelled, it M E L? Yes, it is M E L D R O P. Mel so drop. with word scientists, um, we're presented with a word that we've never heard before. And then we have to guess um, one, are we correcting it or uh, pronouncing it correctly? Um, what is the word origin? What does it mean? So, Meldrop? I think it's origin Australian. 
like Melbourne, Melbourne. like yeah. Melbourne. I'm yeah. gonna say that's what it reminds me of. I don't know if that's it's smelly. Mm-hmm. That's, it's, it's like a slang. Word. They're slang. Yeah, what slang would it be for you? A mel drop. A mel drop. Well, is it almost? Could it be like a mic drop? Where? Or yeah, is it like an it. IV that's drip? Or like? Means. Is there anything it, being dropped? It's weird because. I mean, it could mean something entirely different than like being dropped. What if it's mm-hmm. weather related? It, it sounds like a weather related term to me. Oh, like a Doppler radar, maybe? Something like that? A Mel drop. God, that's such a I'm weird going word. with something like along the lines of sadness, like Mel, like melancholy oh, kind of thing. Ooh, and then that's a good with it would be like spreading your sadness <laughs> oh sad that is sad oh, I don't know. Hmm. maybe I'm it's <laughs> maybe it's medicine like a cough drop a mel drop mm, that's a good good guess i feel like we should just pick slang all the time that would be interesting do we get to know a, what the definition is actually yes i'm going to you guys can still see me when i do this right my camera yes yeah, yeah i'm gonna go to google right now and i'm gonna look at mel drop um and look up you the definition. dictionary.com you look in the actual dictionary do you want me to go to diction dictionary.com it's, it's the same thing if you do dictionary.com but the thing about dictionary.com is they you tell you the origin of the word yeah we want to know all of it okay i'm at dictionary.com then and i'm going to type in mel drive and see what is this word oh good gracious it said it doesn't exist <laughs> See, it's things. not in the English dictionary. It's got to be Australian. All right, let's let's Google it and see what happens because dictionary.com failed me. Okay, so I'm on Urban Dictionary. Okay, I figured it was some kind of slang. Yeah, so it is. It is kind of a slang word, a mel drop. I have to laugh because... My goodness, Nathan, you had to pick something like this. A Uh-oh. mel drop is a drop of mucus at the end of the nose. Huh. Whether produced by cold sickness or cold weather sickness or otherwise. So it's just the little drop of snot you have at the end of your nose. It's called a mel drop. What is the origin of this? Is there an origin? Uh, this one does not give me that. I don't know. From Rogers United. <laughs> Interesting. We'll have to. Now that Ben's taken up running, he gets this a lot. I get that when I'm walking, like when it's cold outside. You're so it's exerting. Cold. Yeah. I don't know. Because my nose gets cold. The mask helps. I was going to say, it's like every time. Okay, so Mel Drop is. Derived from Scandinavian roots, originally a mel drop was a drop of foam from a horse's mouth as it chomps on the bit. Huh. And good old rabies. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. How very interesting indeed. Yeah. Sorry, I'm still looking at Google. Did you have a mel drop? Ariel. I sure did. Just now. Sure did. did you just, you just wipe your nose? It's a little bit yeah. chilly in the room that I'm in. Like my mail drop. <laughs> my mail drop right there on camera. Can you see it? I hope Nathan zooms in. Oh please God, don't. please don't. <laughs> please don't. <laughs> Over our noses. God, now my nose feels like it's running. Just I know. thinking about it. It's a power. I know. No, I'm the always power of suggestion. like sniffling. Oh yes. It's, it's bad. true. It's bad. What an interesting oh. word. Wait, an interesting way to close the podcast. Right. Oh, if only I'd known, I would have picked a different word. But you learn something <laughs> new every day. And that's kind of the goal with word scientists is learning something new. Mm-hmm. We hope you enjoyed that. And we hope you enjoyed the new format and the game that we played. We're going to be playing a lot of new games um, this coming year. We're going to get guest stars on here. Hopefully, I'm going to email Dr. Mike later today. <laughs> and I had a really good time, guys. Me too. Same. So, yeah. Thank you for joining us this month for April's podcast, and we'll see you next month. Yeah. 
All right. Bye, yeah. everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you.